happy we can begin okay hello friends my name is prem amit and we are doing this sound vibration healing training uh, to train people for level 1 and level 2 uh my introduction would be i've been doing sound healing meditations for the past 5 years i'm also doing private sound healing sessions across dubai for a while and i've learned sound healing from multiple sources teachers uh i learned from the kathmandu valley in nepal from master sri sahi I also learned. It was around six years back, seven years back, yeah. And then I also learned from Manan Sharma, who is Peter Hess uh, trained. Uh, Peter Hess is a German sound healing academy. Uh, they also train uh, to do sound healing with the singing bowls, Tibetan singing bowls. So, and a few more, uh, without naming them. so i've been doing uh, sessions across the way in various centers illuminations is one of them very close to my heart and of course close to my place as well so yeah so we are doing this training and uh, this is uh uh i'm very excited for this training and the training will primarily uh, will be using the singing bowls uh, tibetan singing bowls we call them and for who is this training uh, it is very important to understand for people like for what they are doing the training what is the purpose what is the intention so ideal intention could be healing yourself sharing the healing which you learned or is sharing the sound vibration healing to your family to your friends that is generally a common uh intention for many people who want to learn also it is for people who are uh wanting to start their career or wanting to heal start their journey as a healer or as a therapist so now we don't call healers much we call them therapists we will call them light workers so that's uh, all one and the same for me so it is for people uh, with that in- intention to begin with of course uh, as you as you progress as you practice you you get that confidence to go ahead and uh, do sound healing to one and all and you can be a yoga teacher you can be a meditation teacher you can be a theta healing a teacher or a practitioner facilitator you can be a into a medical field a doctor you can be uh, any kind of uh, related to sports coaching kind of related activities and you can be doing any kind of alternate therapy healing work uh, so sound can be we can work with sound in various levels uh, i will explain you that part but you can also be none of them and still do this training and uh, this could be your first training so it is all okay to be a, a person who wants to uh, join this course as a first part of his healing journey uh, of course your resonation with the sound your connection with the sound has to be felt if you feel that if you feel that longing if you have experienced uh, it is a good thing but even without that i think sound works for all and one and all uh, there is no exception generally uh, so that i would say is the audience for our training uh, so as i said it, the training can be done on different levels so it could be the self for your self healing purpose you use for your everyday healing uh if you 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 are like uh, you can work on people of course one to one 
and then you can do a group session like a lead a group meditation sound healing meditation session yeah and you can also use uh, one of the beautiful part of sound healing or sound vibration uh, therapy is you can also use it along with any kind of healing modality which you are working with so be it crystal healing be it hypnotherapy be it any other kind of healing theta healing maybe so sound is complementary to all and everything people even use it as doctors or as surgeons uh, they or the people working in the medical field they also use as an uh, alternate medicine uh, for the sound uh, so along with the normal treatment sound healing goes parallel so it helps them to uh, to take the medicine or the dosage or the whatever treatment is the recovery as well as uh, cure it happens faster so yeah uh, this is a kind of a brief orientation uh, before i go further do you have any questions on this any of you okay So I can go ahead. So uh, how many of you have attended a sound healing session as such, or a sound healing meditation or a private session with the singing bowls or a gong maybe, whatever it is. Anyone of you? Hi, uh, I was able to attend a um, a group session for the uh, sound healing. Okay, and how was your experience? Um, it was good. Uh, at that time, I had when we were lying down on the mat, um, and then we're about to change uh, posture. I wasn't able to. Uh, change um, the posture so the 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 healer uh when she did the the sound healing on me specifically on me i was able to immediately uh change my posture that i was having difficulty okay so so yeah i think um on the group session, uh, it is possible uh, to get the healing. Uh, what we teach is both in this training is both how to work on the group uh, as a whole group as a meditation and how to work on the individual issues. So it includes understanding of the sound as such, how you resonate with the sound, how you feel the sound, how you can receive the sound more and more. And uh, how you can share the sound, that is also very important. So uh, when we present sound, uh, it should be presentable, you know. So for that, we need to learn the technique as to how to strike the bowl with the mallet. Uh, that is very important. And so that is an uh, important part of the training. Then how, which bowl, which sound resonates to certain part of the body, energy centers, uh, we cover up that part as well, which is very important for healing purposes. Uh, so the sound works on all levels, as I said. Right? It works on the emotional level, uh, the physical level, which is the body, physical body. So if anyone has issues with the body uh, on the physical side, of course, on the organs, it works there as well. Uh, it works on the mind, of course, it relaxes the mind. These are like props, you know. They help you to... Uh, relax the mind, the thoughts, uh, they calm down, de-stress people. Uh, ma many anxious people are there, many people are under depression, and many people are going through many different kinds of ailments. So sound works on all these levels, but it also works on the emotional level. Uh, it deals with people's emotions. It, uh, if someone is feeling sad, depressed, uh, if someone has some issues with a relationship, uh, someone has insecurities. So all those kind of things uh, we work upon individually in a private session. Uh, so this is uh, 
broadly, uh, which we will be touching up in our training, uh, both the physical body as well as the energy body, uh, how sound resonates with that. So we'll also cover how uh, some techniques for understanding how sound touches you, how sound penetrates you, how sound resonates with you. So all those kind of uh, awareness uh, practices will do. We'll also do some techniques which will help you to prepare as to how you can help people to receive more sound, more healing. Many people are closed. Uh, uh, sometimes they are not open to receive uh, this. Um, or if they, even if they're open, their mind has been you know, working and they're here and there. So many things uh, have to be taken care of uh, when we are doing the sound healing session as a group or as a private session. So more our focus would be uh, on the private healing uh, because that is a real healing. Uh, I would like to share more on that part, my experience. Uh, so this is more an experience-based training. Uh, of course, we use the techniques. Of course, we make an understanding of how to play the bowls, uh, what bowls are for what purpose, what sound resonates with what part of the body, and the energy centers. All this, th all those things would be covered. Uh, but uh, it would be more an experiential training uh, because I have learned through my experiences. Uh, I and I feel that, of course, uh, you learn uh, from many people. There are books available. Uh, but what experience, is, experience teaches you, uh, it's the best teacher as such. So I would like to share with you this experience which I have gathered over a period through my work on the sound healing. Uh, yes, uh, if you have more questions, of course, I would be ready to take that. Uh, also, what we will cover is one part is to what are the to-dos and what are the contradictions uh, wherein we don't do those things when we are doing sound healing. Uh, so that part would also be covered. So the training is uh, for almost two and a half day. We start on Thursday, six o'clock on the 4th, uh, 4th of Feb. Yes, and six to nine. And that is a, that is a introduction session wherein you will be introduced to the sound. Uh, so, and day two and day three, we'll go deeper, we'll dive deeper into how you can practice playing the bowls and working around with people with the bowls. So the bowls will be there in the session with us and you can choose to buy the bowls before or after, but you can consult, of course, uh, illuminations. Uh, they have the bowl set as well or myself uh, if you feel like and only then you can buy it's better because I would be training you uh, how to play or do the healing work with less number of bowls as well as more number of bowls so it can be three four it can be seven as well so I will uh, so that's what I'm saying uh, I will share different kind of ways of how you do the healing work uh, and what suits you, you can take from there on. I think, uh, I think I've shared what I wanted to more or less. And I would leave the floor open for any kind of questions, any kind of inquiries. If there are. Anyone? Are there any questions? I have a question. <laughs> yes, please. Um, so I'm interested to learn how to do the sound healing. Um, Beautiful. I noticed there is two types, uh, the Tibetan, the metal uh, bowls, and then there's this crystal uh, both, which which is um, more effective? Uh, this training is about Tibetan bowls, and uh, from my experience, I have crystal bowls also. I play sometimes uh, when people. So there are few people who like crystal bowls 
uh, for specific purpose. I also like them for specific purpose. Uh, but for healing work, for clinical work, more bowls which are used are the uh, metal bowls which we are doing this training on. So the crystal bowl is very sharp sound, very higher tone sound, you know, high pitch sound. So it is for specific purpose. It is like for if you go for therapy, it is more for, of course, it takes you to an astral journey maybe. But uh, for healing purpose, um, we use it only for sometimes cancer related issues. Uh, yeah. So I hope you, I answered your question. Yes, thank you. I have another question. <laughs> Most welcome, please. Yes, since I am uh, interested to learn a sound healing, um, so I've been considering to to go and uh, visit to learn the sound healing. However, we have pandemic uh, with COVID, so mm. it's not really uh, advisable right now. So um, where you wanted to go? <laughs> Uh, I'm still searching actually. I, I heard um, there's because the one who did the group healing with me, uh, oh. she went to uh, Himalayan. But I'm Nepal, not sure. Nepal, like, uh, yeah, Nepal. Nepal. Yeah, yeah. I also went there in the beginning. And uh, it is good if you want to travel and see the place. But if you're getting the whole experience in your home hometown, uh, even more than that, I would suggest, uh, because that is a very peculiar training. It works in a very specific and limited way. I've been there. I've done that. I can say that I'm not discouraging you. Of course, you can go to that country. It is a beautiful country. The people are like very nice. But the kind of uh, training which we are offering, uh, I would say it includes experiences from other teachers as well. You know, I would, I'm not saying... I'm teaching you in a better way. Of course, they have their own good and wellness and experience. Um, I've learned from them. I have highest regards from them. Uh, but of course, the pandemic is there. Uh, and uh, if you feel interested, of course, you can join. I see. Thank you. Welcome. Any more questions? Or anything you want to ask about sound healing, even if it is just the curiosity or doubt. Uh, you will also teach, like in the um, sound healing, how to choose the bowls because. I know there are a lot of makers, so which one is authentic, which is, you know. Yeah, yeah, uh, we, we give the bowls as well, of course. We provide uh, bowls, we manufacture ourselves in India. Uh, so we provide bowls across uh, the world. So my friend Manan Sharma, he himself makes the bowls. He, is coming, he comes to Dubai also many times. He did the bus training uh, here in Illuminations as well. And I've been working with him for a while. So we also, we make bowls and we supply the bowls to many people. Of course, yes. I will help you to choose for sure. You don't worry about that. If you join, of course, we will guide you on everything, what to buy, what is suitable, what is not suitable. That's what I said. Uh, there are many kinds of bowls, uh, of course, which are available in the market. Some are very commercial, some are therapeutic, some are uh, very expensive. So you need to have a bowls which are required for your purpose. So you can uh, choose based on what we teach and what you feel is right for you. So you'll be guided. That's nice, thank you. That's right. Anyone there? Anyone has more questions? Eileen, Adlina, Abby, she asked, Minu, Lorraine, Sarah. Hi, Pia.
I think we are good. Thank you guys. Uh, it was nice to interact with you and share what I wanted to share for this training. And I hope to see you on the training. And just the intention is to spread the well-being, healing, and touch more people with sound vibrations. And you're most welcome to join any of our meditations at Illuminations. Uh, we are doing meditations uh, every Saturday, 7.30. So you can get a hang of the bowls, uh, which we are using. Uh, you can also feel the sound vibration. You can see whether it is for you or not. So feel free to join us for the training, for the meditation. And I hope you all the best. Even if you join the training or you don't join the training, that's all okay. And thank you for at least listening to me. I hope to connect with you more often if in future. Thank you so much. Have a good evening.